welcome. You probably came here because you'd love to make ambient music. Now this is a free episode in my Bitwig Ambient Mastery course. And if you'd like this episode, please consider enrolling the course at edu.morningviewmedia.com. See you in the course. Hi and welcome back to another Bitwig Ambient Mastery episode. In today's episode we will create our third layer in this ambient soundscape. First a quick listen to the full soundscape and then I'll solo this bass slash mid-range pad sound. So the layers so far, we have the bell sound as our like top layer. And then we add the pad. And then this uh, mid-range bass. Let's begin creating a new track, command T. Press B or the plus sign to open the browser and search for FM. Select the FM4 cent. And we have the basic patch. So first we're going to pitch this synth all the way down so we get the bass notes. So to transpose the pitch to minus 12 semitones we can either drag like this. Or we could make a triple click, triple click on, on the knob. Which uh, makes it possible to enter a value. So let's enter minus 12. Now we're going to do some changes here to uh, the FM synthesis engine. First we're going to decrease the oscillator modulation knob for oscillator 2. So we get this really muffled cotton-like bass. To keep our sounds tight in the low end register we should make them monophonic. And it's quite easy here in, in the Bitwig devices. Just make sure you select the FM4 synth and go to Voices in the Information panel. And by default we can have 12 notes or 12 voices. But for the bass we just want to be able to have one note at a time. So drag this downwards so you go to Monophonic. So we can only press one note at a time. And let's introduce a little bit of Glide. So we get that sweet glide between, between the notes. But as always we're gonna introduce a little bit of movement here into the sound. So we're gonna add a modulator to the FM4 synth. So press add modulator. And search for segments or seg. And we have the segments and, uh, and it's a little bit similar to uh, the curves uh, modulator that we used in, in the previous episode. But it contains uh, some more tools so we can loop uh, points within the segments here. So first we're going to attach this uh, segments modulator to uh, the oscillator modulator 2. So press the skeleton key or mapping key and drag the modulator, the oscillator mod all to the top. Maybe increase the rate a little bit so it goes faster. Also gonna bump the release a little bit on the envelope. Let's also attach uh, this uh, segments modulator to uh, oscillator 3 and 4 so we also have a movement in, in those uh, parameters. So drag this uh, a little bit downwards like this and uh, press that mapping key and attach that to, to those parameters too. Now, as you can see in the mixer of FM4, we're only listening to uh, oscillator 1. And we're currently not using oscillator 3 to modulate anything on, on the carrier of oscillator 1. So we can introduce a little bit of, of that into the carrier of oscillator 1. <laughs> 
So that's a quite a rich and a nice base. We'll also do a little bit of adjustments here to the segments modulator. So the modulation value can go lower and higher. So you can see we have more movement in, in the modulation. As you can see here in the segments modulator, we can add different nodes by just clicking on, on the curves like this. But you can also adjust the curvature by holding down the Alt key. If you want to have a different kind of curve. So that's a really fat and rich bass. Okay, so let's continue and look at the effects for this patch. So we'll expand the effect slot and we will begin adding a filter. And we can use uh, the regular filter for this. And we need to drag down the resonance of the filter so it's not so resonating, so to speak. And we'll also activate uh, the four pole filter. And raise the uh, the cutoff frequency a little bit. So you can see if we have it all to the top, we get all the brightness from the bass. But we need to lower this around 3, 3k maybe. Next up we'll add a delay. So let's add a delay plus and raise the low cut. And maybe introduce a little bit of ducking and uh, reduce the mix level. And at the end of this chain we will add our famous ambient reverb. So again we need to search for ambient and bring up the ambient reverb. But it sounds a little bit weird if we have it full on, so just uh, drag down the mix level, like so. And maybe also reduce uh, the length a little bit. Now, if we want the bass to be more consistent, uh, if you hold the longer notes, we can just uh, raise the sustain of the volume envelope. We're also going to add a little bit of movement to the high-end frequencies of, of this sound. And after the filter, we're going to press the plus sign between the filter and the delay plus. And we're going to search for multi. And there we have the multiband effects too. And the multiband effect will split the, the audio signal into two frequency bands. So we have low-end band and a high frequency band. And we can see the split frequency. In, in the middle here. And by default it's around 640 hertz, but you can adjust that if you want to have it at uh, another frequency split point. But we can have it around 400 hertz. So now with the multiband effect we can add different uh, plugins and devices to the low end and the high end bands. So we're gonna go and open the high end band and press the plus sign and add uh, the chorus plus. And let's activate 8V. So these are the different uh, chorus models. You can hear that you get more like uh, gritty grains in the sound if we increase the speed. So let's just uh, give it a little bit of grit. Yeah, so that's basically it for this sound. Now let's uh, move this uh, up like this. And let's give it a try with the other layers. So we're going to activate the other layers in the record mode so we can play them all at the same time. So that's how we created the FM bass sound. Now let's continue to the next episode and look at creating the texture sounds for this soundscape. <laughs>